Here's a proper way to wire up a power cord to a piece of electronic equipment or power equipment and there is a wrong way to do it. A wrong way could result in personal injury. Power cords come in two basic types. Three terminal power cord and a two terminal power cord. The three terminal power cord can have many different wire color combinations. As you see here, we have black, white, green. Here we have two brown, green. Here we have brown, blue, green. Then we have the two terminal power cord. And who knows what colors we've got here? They're both black. Now the two terminal power cord will come in two different types. Here are the two different types of two terminal power cords. The first is a non-polarized power cord where both terminals are identical. Here we can see the polarized power cord and you can see that the one end is flared so that it'll go into the AC receptacle only one way. So here's the flared end right here. For a standard 125 volt 15 amp duplex receptacle, we have three terminals. One, two, three. This one here is called the U-ground. That will be attached to this green screw. And that would be a copper wire which actually gets connected to earth ground. Then we'll notice that we have one wider terminal outlet and one narrower terminal outlet. This narrow one is actually going to be the hot wire. That's where our voltage is. So this would be the brass colored screws and if you look at the very back of the receptacle it says hot wire. The hot wire usually will be the black wire. The wider terminal outlet is attached to these silver colored screws and if we look at the very back it says white wire and that would be neutral. That would be at the same potential as our earth ground, zero volts. In the 125 volt AC power system we always switch the hot wire. We never want to switch neutral. Sometimes we will switch the hot wire and the neutral wire. That is acceptable. But if we're only switching one, it's always going to be the hot wire. So if you take a look at this non-polarized plug, I can put this plug into the receptacle two ways. Now, for some applications it doesn't much matter. But if I'm operating a piece of power equipment or electronic equipment, it will matter. So we don't want to use this type of power cord for electronic equipment or any kind of power equipment. The reason that we cannot use it for power equipment or electronic equipment is that I may not be connecting the hot wire or voltage wire to the switch in the circuit, which could cause us a little bit of a problem and possibly expose us to a shock hazard. This is the polarized plug. It can only go into the AC receptacle one way. That way we will never confuse the polarities of hot and neutral. As you can see with the three terminal power plug, it will only go in one way and this will never cause us a problem for making sure that we're switching only the hot wire. All right, let's take a look at this power cord. It's a standard three terminal power cord. We've got the black, white, and green. Now remember, this terminal is going to go into here, which is our hot wire, which would be black. This is our U ground, which is going to go in here, which is green. And then over here, this terminal is going to go into the wider terminal slot, which is neutral.
I can verify this with my digital multimeter. I'm going to use my digital multimeter and I have it on continuity testing so when I connect the two leads together I've got the sound, a beep. So that means I've got continuity. So from this terminal to here I should get continuity which is good but notice I don't get continuity on the other two. This one is going to be my hot wire you can see I've got continuity, but I don't have continuity on any of the others. And then I have the neutral plug right here, white, but no continuity on the others. So this is how you can test using your digital multimeter set to continuity testing to verify the hot, neutral, and earth ground. Now for this power cord, I've got a little wee bit of a problem. I don't have the standard color code, white, black, green. The only wire that I have common is green. Let's make sure I'm going to use my continuity tester again on my digital multimeter. Clip the leads together. You can hear the beep. So this is you ground. Yep, that's it. So that's good. Now let's see if we can find the hot wire. So I'll clip here. Looks like that's the hot wire. And that must be neutral. Let's see. This is the neutral connection. Alright, so we have here hot, earth ground, and neutral. Let's take a closer look at the wire and see if I can get any clues from the wire. Well, on the wire, I see what could be some part numbers from the manufacturer, and then it says here 18 AWG, so that's American wire gauge, so that's the size of the wire, and 3C, 3 conductor. So it doesn't tell me where I have the hot and the neutral, so in this particular case, I needed to uh, do a continuity test to verify hot and neutral. Here I have another three terminal power cord, but my colors are brown, blue, and green. Well, I'm guessing that the green wire is going to be my earth ground. We'll just verify that again with my digital multimeter set for continuity testing. So there is zero ohms. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, so that's it. This is my hot terminal. And it looks like the brown is my voltage carrier or hot wire. This is the neutral. And blue is going to be the neutral wire. So we've got brown is hot, blue is neutral, green is earth brown, ground. Alright, so here's our two terminal polarized plug. Remember now the flare the wider end is neutral, the narrow end is hot. But I have two black wires, I'm not entirely sure which is hot and neutral, so let's just use our continuity tester again. Let's connect the two leads, make sure we've got a good connection on our meter. We do. Now I will connect to the hot terminal. And it looks like this wire is hot and this one must be neutral. So if I go to the neutral plug, I've got continuity, that's good. So let's take a closer look at the wire and see if we have any clues on the wire. So this was the hot wire right here and if I take a look I see that we've got two conductor 18 AWG, 18 American wire gauge, so that's this wire size of the power cord. Say is that it's rated for 75 degrees centigrade. And looks like we have a manufacturer number here. So it looks like the wire with the writing on this power cord is actually the hot wire. And that the one without any writing is neutral. But always to be safe, I would always do a continuity test just to make sure.
All right, so let's show you how to measure the voltage on the AC power cord. I currently have my multimeter set to AC volts. I'm on auto ranging with this fluke meter. I have my black lead connected to the green wire, which is earth ground. So you can see here I'm going to measure basically zero volts. You know, it's going to go to, well, here we have 3.6 millivolts. Drop down to 1.4, it's dropping down a little bit lower. So that's about zero. Let's go to see what we have on neutral. The neutral line is giving me about 194 millivolts AC, which is pretty close to zero for me. And then let's take a look at what we get on the hot wire. The hot wire is giving me 125.0 volts, 0.1 volt AC. Now let's watch what happens when I move the probe over to the neutral. I get exactly the same voltage. Should that black wire touch the white wire or the green wire, I can guarantee you, you will have an interesting spark and a nice light show. You do not want to do that. This is why I have the wire ends taped securely to my workbench. I would only recommend this if you are an experienced user of the digital multimeter and know what you're doing when you're measuring AC voltages. If you're a beginner, I would not recommend doing this.